All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right. Staying solid in these times that we're in. I pray that your life is improving daily. I pray that you're fixing all your problems and your solutions. I pray that if certain things are a little out of your reach, I pray that the Most High is fixing it for you and that things are going in your favor. I pray that the Most High keeps giving you more strength and more patience and more love. And I just hope that you stand protected and safe in these crazy times we're in. We're in very strange, crazy times. You know what I mean? This is a time of a lot of uneasiness, a lot of discomfort, a lot of just chaos. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we just got to take it day by day out here. You know what I mean? We got to really um, just stay prayed up, you know, and we'll move lightly out here. You know what I'm saying? Because we in some real strange times out here. You feel me? So um, I just hope that you had a solid day and I hope better days come for you. All right. So in today's message, I just want to discuss about spiritual progress. It's important that we keep growing spiritually, um, that we increase our prayer life. We increase our discernment. We increase our wisdom and knowledge um, that our relationship with the most high progress is to get better as well. And that we are more unforgiving and we are more helpful with others as well. You know, we need to keep growing spiritually in all areas of our lives. You know what I mean? Like, of course, at times we're still carnal in the flesh and deal with things on a daily basis in a practical sense. But, um, you know, we got to move in the spirit. We got to live in the spirit. We can't keep moving by the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Because when we keep living in the flesh, that stops us from getting God's will done. That stops us from putting the kingdom of heaven first. That stops us from a lot of blessings and open doors. You know what I'm saying? So in order for things to move better in our lives, we have to um, keep spiritually growing. We have to stop being stagnant and complacent. We have to constantly keep going higher and higher. Um, the Most High wants us to keep improving and keep growing. He doesn't want us just sitting in one place or just at the same condition for too long. You know what I mean? So, yeah, spiritual progress is very important, you know. Um, and these times that we're in, a lot of people are straying away from the faith. A lot of people are going backwards. A lot of people are backsliding. And... um this is not a time to backslide. This is not a time to be still caught up with self indulgence. You know, this is not a time to be tampering, um, to be just too caught up with your own flesh again in your own way and tangled up. You know what I mean? This is a time to live more better, uh, do everything much more efficient, and to just walk with a higher purpose from here on out. You feel me? No more empty handed trips, no more wasted time. Everything has to be meaningful and purposeful, especially spiritually. You know what I mean? We have to keep bearing more fruit. We have to keep spreading the gospel. We have to keep doing the will of the Most High. We have to keep spreading Christ's love as well. We have to keep being examples of the Most High. We have to keep being a salt of the earth and a light of the world. All right. We have to embrace being a royal priesthood. All right. We got to walk in our inheritance and walk in that light, walk in that radiation, walk in that love, and really walk in by faith too. You feel me? So spiritual progress is important. So what I would like to do is just read a few scriptures about it, you know, and just go from there. The book of Job, chapter 17, verse 9. Nevertheless, the righteous will hold to his way, and he who has clean hands will grow stronger and stronger. The book of Psalm 84, verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appears before God in Zion. The book of Psalm 92, verse 12. The righteous man will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar in Lebanon, a cedar in Lebanon. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 18. But the path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn that shines brighter and brighter till the full day. Shining bright like the sun, y'all. Let our light shine. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord the Spirit. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15. Take pains with these things. Be absorbed in them so that your progress will be evident to all. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 37. You enlarge my steps under me and my feet have not slipped. The book of 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29. Now God gave Solomon wisdom and every great discernment and breath of mind like the sand that is on the seashore. The book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. Now Jabez called on the, Lord, the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from harm, that it may not pain me. And God granted him what he requested. The book of Psalm 18, verse 36. You enlarge my steps under me, and my feet have not slipped. 
The book of Psalm 118, verse 5. From my distress, I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 2. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch out the curtains of your dwelling. Spare not. Lengthen your cords and straighten your pegs. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Come on, y'all. Jesus came to give us life in abundance. we got to embrace that and remember that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 11. Our mouth has spoken freely to you. O Corinthians, our heart is open wide. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 17. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and that you being rooted and grounded in love. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18. May be able to comprehend with all the saints that is with breadth and length and height and depth. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 19, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. The book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 16, however, let us keep living by the same standard to which we have attained to. All right. The book of Psalm 92, verse 12, the righteous man will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. All right. Let's see. The book of Psalm 84, verse 7, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them appears before God in Zion. So, you know, it's very important that we keep growing spiritually, okay? We keep we keep being better communicators, better leaders. Um, we send more strength and love to people, you know what I mean? We got to keep progressing, all right? There's always room for improvement. There's always things to get better at. There's always things to um, grow in, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us are coming from many different backgrounds and walks of life, but the Lord has so much things in store for us. The Lord sees so much in us and we have to tap into that and embrace that. You know what I mean? So spiritual progress is everything. Let's keep praying more often. Let's keep being more spiritually minded. Let's stop being so carnal. You know what I mean? Because that's going to block us from seeing things clearly. So let's keep moving in the spirit and growing in it as well. So as we close out, I just want to remind to y'all how great the most high in his son is and just go from there. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, the Amen, the Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith. He is the Author and Perfecter of our faith. He is the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God. He is beloved. He is the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potent. He is the Blessed and Only Ruler. He is the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, the first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hearer of all things, the high priest, the holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and Lord of lords, the king of saints, the king of the ages, the king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yeshua, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahaya, Yeshaya, Barakatha, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, power of God, precious cornerstone, prince of kings, prince of life, prince of peace, 
the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone to build is rejected. The true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way of truth and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So I pray to God that whoever this is, much as I pray that you get baptized, you start your life forward for the most high. I pray that you have a new life and a new beginning from now on. I pray that you accept Christ as your savior and that he is the son of God. I pray that you have a changed mind, a changed heart, and a changed soul. I pray that you keep growing and improving in all areas of your life. I pray that your relationship with the Most High just gets better and better. Okay, we need to be more growing spiritually, okay? We need this pro we need to progress more spiritually, and we need to keep going higher levels. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.